AA has had a, well, I, I would call it, it was a difficult past coming to where it is today, but it has done fairly well in the recurring stage. But moving forward, what do you see as AA's biggest challenge or challenges? Is it funding? Is it people support? Is it arms? Or is it a realistic political agenda? Because independence of recurring state, um, Inspiring as it might sound, uh, I think the, the, the realistic aspect of that is always questioned. So uh, what is AA's biggest challenge? Um, yes, I think the AA, the biggest challenges, and the first I can see uh, the morally, uh, I think they maybe really have to look at it because as Rakhine, like a strategically military win never let, you know, A go to control the Rakhine state. Because they have, you know, the Russia right now, the Russia is inventing, you know, China is a lot of, you know, major project in China and also the India multi collateral project has so many, you know, like important things. And even for another one is the Rohingya crisis, Rohingya you know, genocide. Yeah, we have, we also have to think about that. The military won't never let go, you know, a to control the kind state. Uh, this is uh, because I think. The, the biggest challenge is, uh, you know, how they have to uh, think about for the people, especially the Rakhine is so isolated. In the previous round, I see that what the China just is uh, facing uh, mostly August to uh, August to November 2020, almost four months. Rakhine people really suffer, you know, they are defeated, food shortage, and the humanitarian aid. I mean, Rakhine people, I mean, the, who, who, you know, the, the people who are living in Rakhine State, regardless of race and, you know, uh, the genders or religious, the, all people is what I mean. They really, you know, uh, experience food shortage. And also the price and commentary, mostly the people in Rakhine State rely on uh, the, uh, the the central bomber, you know, uh, the, uh, the the price, especially food. The, um like you know daily commentary commodity there's really really huge deep, uh, you know the challenges for them yeah after the conflict started in august the military shut down all you know highway road and you know everything then they don't have they don't they didn't assess you know food especially for indp so it's a huge concern because in rakhine state it's not the same as like you know thai and myanmar border the Bangladesh and India, they never, they, 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 they didn't allow to uh, do the uh, humanitarian aid. And this is the, the real challenges, what I see. And the second, uh, uh, the second, they also have, you know, huge pressure or like, you know, the geographically and also politically, like they also have, you know, some kind of shiny influence over their group. Uh, they also really good relationship with them. Chinese or Chinese governments also really good relationship with the military. They are also brother Ryan for years. And the second, and we can also see the like an international community like in the Rwanda genocide. The West country they are also really proud and Rakhine state. They are also very closely more than other state. They are really watching, and they really care about in the middle in this you know the two uh you know the the the, the superpower country that they, they have a huge you know they are huge pressure and these these two things and the second them i i can say they they don't worry about their you know the recruit you know soldier they have very much you know i can say more than three thousand uh soldier they have and but you know they may they may have a feel like you know air scratch like in you know, the this is not easy to book you know in the market I, I mean in market I mean blood market it's, it was as easy to buy especially air scratch this may be really harder and the funding regarding funding they they I can see they may uh, they may not much worry about the funding funding because of the funding they had the funding they can recruit also they can you know. Uh, Technically, equated for the you know the soldier. So what I can see that tech, uh, you know, uh, the huge amount of Rakhine migrant, in, especially in Rakhine state, only like you know one, 
only like you know, three million people or total, but most of the people living in uh, like you know, immigrant people, Rakhine people are like you know, Thai and Malaysia, and and also the American, also other country, they really support a like a monthly daily basis. They support they, you know, they they are they are making because of the the performance and also they also really such as go uh such as things um another one is uh, a won't worry about you know uh the people's vote uh they they um i can say like you know 90 persons or 90 percent of the people are from rakhine state and uh, people rakhine states for the aa and maybe another 10 percent maybe who are working with the military Okay, that sounds really interesting. And you mentioned that the challenges include the fact that Rakhine is so isolated. So when it's under the attack by the military, it's very difficult for them to get support from either external sources or from uh, P PD 